Tell us, what was your drug of choice? Cocaine. Now, how did you get introduced to cocaine? Uh, well, I was introduced via uh, marijuana, drinking, and all of the steps. Okay. It was a step process. Okay. Okay. So now, what, what was your lowest point, and how did you find yourself there? My lowest point? Ooh, I had so many of them. It's hard to pick and choose one. Uh, my lowest point was, I guess, the, the time when I was just on the, on the ground in my house, thinking somebody was coming up the stairs at me. I had all kind of weapons and was just anticipating the worst, and I was the only one in the house, and it was just a horrible situation. So now what led you to get to the place of recovery? What led you there? Sick and tired. Sick and tired because, you know, every time I called myself, lifting myself up with a drug, the lows was so so horrendous that I just got sick and tired of, you know, just repeating the same old process and destroying everybody. You know, I was just, like, I was the only person on earth. You know, I didn't, my kids, my, I was, you know, I was just shipwrecked, you know, I didn't have nothing, nobody. So, so why is it so important that right now you celebrate your recovery? Because now, with the knowledge I have of learning to love myself, I found out that I'm not that bad of a person. And uh, change is good. Living life on life's term helps me to do things for others, you know, without it, without it being so much what's in it for me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just grateful for this second opportunity to live. All right, listen, thank you for your story, and keep up the good work in your recovery. Thank you so much for having me here. Right. Part two, huh? Not part two, yes, sir. <laughs>